the pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Mayor Beagle. Here. Deputy Mayor Resnick. Present. Councilmember Behrman. Here. Councilmember Gotchel. Here. Councilmember Grenlin Fox. Here. Councilmember Sharp. Present. Councilmember Smiley. Here. Quorum present. Thank you. Uh, changes or additions to the agenda as presented tonight, City Manager? I have none, sir. Any from the dais? Seeing none, move on. We have one set of minutes to approve tonight. That's from the regular City Council meeting of December 20th, 2022. Do I have a motion? Support. Good. Any questions, comments, additions, corrections? Seeing none, I got a motion and a second to approve the uh, regular City Council meeting minutes of December 20th, 2022. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, correspondence, we have two items of correspondence tonight. It's a thank you note from the Smiley family and a fire department update. Thank you, uh, Chief, for the fire department update. Uh, call to the public. Uh, read the rules to the call to the public. They are as follows. The public shall address the council during the call to the public, which shall be included on the agenda immediately after correspondence. And again, immediately after new business, the first call to the public immediately after correspondence shall be limited to agenda items only. A person shall not address the council in excess of five minutes unless the time is extended by a majority vote of the council present. Persons wishing to address the council shall identify themselves and their place of residence and shall state their reason for addressing the council. And all comments by the public shall be made directly to the council. Do we have anybody for the first call to the public? Seeing none, I'll close the first call to the public and move on to city manager's reports. The first city manager report tonight is the fire monthly report, December 2022. Any questions? Councilman McGrell and Fox. Good evening. Good evening. I see that the false alarm calls were considerably higher than they have been at least this time last year or November of last year. How do we handle those? Do we, I know we bill the businesses, but do they get so many before we start billing them or how? Yes, they do. They get, I believe it's three false alarms a quarter. Um, this month, it wasn't anything specific. Uh, we actually had a drop in water pressure and a bunch of fire alarms went off. So it happens usually, you know, once or twice a year that this happens and then just happened to fall last, um, actually November. Are there certain businesses that are known to have their alarms gone? Not specifically. No, okay. Yep, but thank you. Sure. Any other questions? Thank you. Absolutely. We also have the police monthly report from December, 2022. Any questions? Councilmember Glenn Fox. Good Same type of question uh, as far as numbers. I see that the larceny numbers were significantly higher. Are those in specific areas of the city or are they kind of spread out? No, those larcenies deal mainly with the catalytic converter thefts that we've seen this huge increase in and, and we're making every attempt we can to increase patrols in certain areas, but it bounces all over the city, either the hotels or the businesses or the apartment complexes, and it always seems like we're in one, and then it happens in the other. We do have a couple leads on a couple of the cases that we're looking into, which is good. We're still looking into them. We'll see where they lead, but they're the cat con. That's Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. Moves on to the consent, consent agenda. All items listed under the consent agenda are considered routine by the City Council and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless the Council member so requests in which event the items will be removed from the consent agenda and added to the regular agenda at the end of unfinished or new business. Do I have a motion? So moved. Or All right, I got a motion and a support to approve the consent agenda as presented tonight. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have no unfinished business tonight. We move on to the only item of new business tonight. That's a recommendation to confirm the mayor's reappointment of Joe Bell, Eric Jarvis, and Eddie Osmond to the Tax Abatement Review Committee with terms to expire December 31st, 2025. Do I have a motion? So moved. Support. All right, very good. These are all members of the uh, Tax Abatement Committee. Um, they're on the committee now and 
as far as all the rules and um, everything like that, they are they are entitled to be on the the uh, tax abatement committee, and they they've stepped up and, and want to do it again. So I'm very pleased with that. I mean, Councilman or Deputy Mayor Deputy Mayor Resnick. Oh, thank you, Mayor. The uh, one question I had was I noticed uh, Joe Bell is being considered for reappointment again. And when uh, Joe Bell was initially appointed, he was the uh, principal at Wald Lake Western, which largely serves our community in Wixom and all. And uh, he has you know, since moved on and he's at Wald Lake as well as an assistant principal. I just wondered if, uh, if Ollie was uh, you know, approached and, and would it make sense to have someone that's closer to the neighborhood? Cause if, well, the central is pretty far removed, although it seems our residents. Yeah, Joe Bell was contacted, and he did contact um, his uh, supervisors, and they said if you want to continue, you may, because it's it's not, it's actually a representative from Wall Lake Schools. It's not just from from our neighborhood or whatever. But yeah. Okay. Right. Council Member Gotcho. Thank you. Uh, I would like to request that we vote on these separately, given that I still don't agree with the appointment of one of the people. Thank you. That motion. I support that. No. no. Just no. Yeah. I think make motion. motion. I'll support it. Right. Make motion. Yes, that was a motion. <laughs> support. Okay, I got a motion of support to uh, vote on these representatives individually. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. <coughs> Council Member Sharp? Aye. <coughs> Council Member Smiley? Aye. Mayor Beagle? No. Deputy Mayor Resnick? Aye. Council Member Behrman? No. Council Member Gotchel? Yes. Council Member Grenland Fox? Yes. No. Five yes, two no. <coughs> Very good. Any questions before we move on to the voting? Okay, first up is uh, the reappointment of Joe Bell. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. I, can I, ask I, one? I just asked that, nobody oh. said anything. So well, I would like to understand Joe Bell's interest in the city, because that's what it says is one of the requirements. Well, he rep he, he's the representative from Wall Lake Schools. We have a representative for Wall Lake Schools on there. He started out at Wall Lake Western and um, he wants to continue doing this. He enjoyed he enjoyed being on the committee. He talked to his um, superiors, his advisors. They said, if you want to continue, um, go ahead. He wants to, so. <coughs> I guess kind of interesting that since schools don't pay taxes. That's well, is that kind of a standard like, that we've developed in the city over time, or is that? We agree to allow, to, sorry. If we, if we agree to allow to abate or a tax abatement, it doesn't just affect since it's on property taxes, it doesn't just affect us, it affects the school system as well. So he's effectively representing their interest in whether or not the company is allowed the abatement. Thank you. Good, good discussion. All right. Any other questions? All right. All those in favor for the reappointment of Joe Bell, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right, Joe Bell carries. Uh, reappointment of Eric Jarvis. Any questions? Go ahead. What's his interest in the city? He's all, he's a resident and a business owner. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? All those uh, uh, in favor of the reappointment of Eric Jarvis, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Eric Jarvis passes. Uh, reappointment of Eddie Osmond. Any questions? Comments? Council Member Grandma Fox? Yes, I'll answer. <laughs> I guess the question I thought Council Member Grandma Fox. Oh, what his interest is in the city? He's a business owner. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? All right, uh, the reappointment of uh, Eddie Osman. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Council Member Smiley? Yes. Mayor Beagle? Yes. Deputy Mayor Resnick? Aye. Councilmember Behrman? Yes. Councilmember Gotchel? No. Councilmember Grunland Fox? Yes. Councilmember Sharp? Aye. Six yes, one no. Very good. So we have three new member, three reappointments to the uh, Tax Abatement Committee, and thank you for their uh, stepping up. Next up is a second call to the public. 
Uh, the rules of call to the public are as follows, but this one you can speak whatever is on your mind. Do we have anybody for the second call to the public? Seeing none, I'll close the second call to the public. City Manager comments. City Manager Brown. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. The um, City Manager update just references that the um, community center is going to be hosting a veterans resource fair on January 26th from 9 to noon. Um, with a bunch of uh, resources on hand to help uh, veterans uh, with any concerns that they might have. Uh, there's information on food boxes, veterans resources, Michigan Works, uh, housing and neighborhood development in Oakland County, uh, parks and recreation, the VA system, etc. Um, so we're proud to, to, to assist with that uh, worthy effort there in uh, providing good quality information to veterans that have served our country. Uh, the dates to remember are provided in the table. If anybody has any questions on anything, uh, I'll do my best to answer or get an answer. Assistant City Manager Benson. I didn't know if I was supposed to go first for you to introduce <laughs> me. <but laughs> Thank you, Mayor. I do just have a, a couple small things just as uh, heads up. Um, as you may remember, the city has been working with a small committee for uh, economic development and marketing and branding initiative. Um, I'm excited to say that the plan is for that to be presented to city council at your next meeting. Um, and kudos to uh, council member Smiley and council member Gotcha who participated in that process. Uh, the other thing is another long-term project that hopefully will come across to your uh, dais soon. The planning commission did uh, approve updated language for the village center area ordin uh, ordinance as well as the zoning map. Uh, we had previously provided some uh, some background on what they're proposing to do, um, but given how th th this has been an extensive process, so um, just a heads up that will be coming to you all soon. We're just working on updating some graphics per uh, planning commission's request. Uh, and the final thing is uh, exciting to see the reappointments to the tax payment review committee, uh, city management intend to hold the meeting it, it has been a little while so um, that should happen in the next month or so that is all I have very good council comments council member Gatcho no council member Berman uh, just uh, three things I was excited to see this evening the fact that we're moving forward with some uh, the easement acquisitions for our sidewalks uh, the positive note on uh, the movement of our fire department and um, also a thank you to the people who continue to step up and volunteer for our, our boards and commissions. Council Member Grella Fox. I'd like to pass along my condolences to the family of Gloria Leskinen. Uh, I'd also like to thank Fire Administration and the City Manager's Office for the um, staffing and recruitment update. I'm really happy that the shifts and the recruitment strategies are are working and I think it's, it's great so thank you very much and then I'd also like to um, to thank those that stepped up to uh, sit on that tax payment. Councilmember Sharp. Thank you Mayor. Um, Happy New Year to everybody and uh, sorry it was an Ohio State Michigan game last night but maybe next year. I don't know if you could take two losses in one year. But. Uh, <laughs> Uh, thank the three volunteers for the tax abatement review board. I also, I mentioned to Chief Langmeyer before the meeting tonight, I saw a lot of police cars out today and asked him if something special was going on. And, and Chief Langmeyer said, no, he's just encouraging officers to have a presence out there. I saw, almost got caught in a 25 zone. And uh, I realized there's a police car right next to me. I'm like slamming on my brakes. And he's trying to slow down faster than I am, I think. But I really appreciated the show of our uh, police uh, peak personnel and resources that we have out. And so we have a lot. And uh, I know we all support the police department. It's really good to see them out there. So thank you very much. That's it. Thanks. Councilmember Robert Smiley. Uh, thank you, Mary Beagle. Uh, mostly just echo what's already been covered. Uh, one little thing I'd like to add, just that, you know, that, that uh, passing of Gloria Leskinen was, uh, she was a senior commission. Um, uh, for uh, 02 to, to 2014, and I appreciate you know Kathy you know, always uh, you know Kathy Bosch always lets us know when you know these kind of things happen. And thanks, Kathy, for letting us know that stuff. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Deputy Mayor Resnick. Oh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you also to those uh, volunteers who step up for our boards and commissions and for tonight's uh, board members that are on the tax abatement committee. The um, also my condolences to the Leskinen family. 
And um, I also had a, a, a one quick question on the easements. We still have a number of them to obtain and correct, be able to be complete. That is correct. Is it 5, 10, 20? <coughs> we know? Seven. 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 Okay, so three down, seven to go. Good. All right. Um, and also, um, I wondered if there was any update from the legislative appointment from DTE on the event that happened December 31st at 3 o'clock with Hidden Creek and Wexford Muse subdivisions. No, uh, Deputy Mayor Resnick, I was not able to, to get any uh, response from them. They kind of did caution me that it might take some time for them to, to pull the information because I only got in touch with them on Monday. Um, so I, uh, I did follow up today to see what we could find out, and I was not able to get any update on that. I will keep you posted as to what we come up with on uh, what, what was going on in that power outage in that area. And, and for the record, there was a uh, extreme surge that caused outages to uh, destroy many um, uh, different power strips as well as appliances within the at least the two streets that I know. So, right. Um, all right. And uh, one final note to those vandals who Christmas week uh, so maliciously destructed the holiday displays, the blow-up displays in our neighborhoods. Remember one day you will have children or you'll be helping nephews or nieces decorate houses. Um, I hope you remember that moment <laughs> when you were a parent yourself. Of, of how malicious that was. So I know there's a lot of broken hearts and a lot of the kids in some of our neighborhoods. So, okay. thank you. And my condolences to the Luskinen family and the loss of um, Mrs. Luskinen. And I want to thank the uh, volunteers who stepped up for the tax abatement committee and wish everybody a happy new year with that. A motion to adjourn? A move. Support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Very good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>